<laughs> so let's get a please let's uh, please type in a one word inspiration for us to start off with. We've got bubble. Um, no, we'll take bubble. Thank you. We're not picky. Uh, yeah, you know, kind of it just relaxes me. Ah, hi. It is relaxing, especially with that pipe. Oh, look at the buckles on my shoes. Well, would you like a little bit of gold out of me wee pot? <laughs> I'll tell you where the rainbow is if, you, if, you, if you're nice. To <sighs> oh, I love the smell after rain and, and the rainbow doesn't hurt either, huh? Nothing like the smell of eight napalm in the morning. <laughs> Sorry, I think better when I do this. <laughs> ah, light bulb. <laughs> Now, that's just the way it is. He, uh, you know, he's a uh, <clears throat> he's an artist for uh, comic strips, and he thinks that way as well. You know, that reminds me of the time that I was a model for comic books for R. Crumb. Remember R. Crumb? It was always exciting. Mm. exciting. The guy was a genius. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's uh, wow. What history? That's incredible. R. Crumb, you say, right? I was just I just knew Garfield. That was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, those completely, completely different worlds. Garfield is a is a comic strip and um, syndicated newspaper, and R. Crumb was an underground comic artist who did fantastic work. It was just uh, some people call it sexist, some people call it misogynistic. Oh, and, but but I'll tell you, the guy was he was a genius, and he asked me to model for him. <laughs> so, wow, so c controversial, what you'd say, right? Highly controversial. Uh, some people say that he coined the expression, keep on trucking. I love that expression. You like it? That, that expression gets me out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it's like a motivating factor. Keep on trucking, keep on trucking. It doesn't hurt that I like trucks. Not, not at all. Yeah, it was, I think it was, uh, it was had some connection with the semis and the whole, you know, international um, import business at that point, bringing stuff in. But... No, Crumb was a, he's a, he's a genius. And, uh, God, it was, it was wonderful. I modeled, uh, I modeled the uh, character. Um, you might have heard the character um, Jerome, the cat. That was me. I modeled that for that character. Jerome, the cat. Again, Garfield was my thing. Didn't follow. Do you have anything you could show me? Um, um, well, Any of the stuff you modeled? I'm a little embarrassed because Jerome the cat was uh, was nude. <laughs> well, you okay? I mean, I, I well that I understand why you may be embarrassed, but I you look great to me. I, I mean, I don't know if you're embarrassed because you think you don't look good or something. Is that what you meant? I don't want to be presumptuous in a negative way. Can you, you're smart. <laughs> you're presumptuous. <laughs> so amazing. Well, I just I'm I'm overjoyed that you're interviewing me as one of the. Kind of the, you know, the icons of the uh, modeling people of the comic world, and just thank you so much. Yeah, no, it's, I'm happy to do it. Like I said, I'm expanding my horizons. Garfield is the only thing I've ever really followed, um, but uh, but I'm excited to learn more. And again, I it would help me a lot to see some of the work so that I can know exactly what I'm what I'm hiring potentially. Tag okay. out, tag out the model. So what do you mean you asked her out? What do I mean I asked her out? You asked her out. Was that unclear? I, I, I asked her out. Well, just That's exactly what I did. It sounded I, I, a little bit creepy to me. The way I asked her out? Was it weird to say, hey, you want to go on a date? Was, the, was that getting breathy? Was that weird? I, that was a little weird. But I mean, okay. before then, though, she was like, she was naked. OK? And she had like a, yes. cat, a cat bell around her neck. Is that what? That's right. Yeah. I, I, initially, it started off as a work, uh, you know, an interview. 
And uh, once I, once she finally was willing to, initially I was asking her to show me photos of the stuff she modeled, but she decided to go ahead and just take it off right there. And uh, I was supremely impressed with. Yeah. Um, you just seem a little desperate. I mean, is this really the only woman that's struck you in the last six months? No, the truth of the matter is many women have struck me in the last six months. This is just the first time I've gotten up to nerve to ask. You know, I went through, as you know, went through a divorce. Um, so yes, I, I, I admit I'm a little desperate and I know it was probably unprofessional, but I, I, I took a chance. How do they say I shot? I took my shot or whatever the hell the saying is. You know what I mean? I shot my shot. That's the saying. Okay. Um, You're going to be able to keep this, uh, you know, separate from your work? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but okay. I want to be honest about it. I'm in a I'm in a funky place. You know, I, I've been single. I'm desperate. That's exactly what it is. And I and I want to be honest that I don't know that I'll be able to handle this. I will probably need some assistance. Jared, I mean, uh, you know, it's only because you and I are running this magazine together. That, and I mean, I don't, this could turn into a, you know, some kind of an article about you. Um, you know, people have, people have workplace romances, right? I mean, right. But if they blow up, I mean, you know, you're sort of a public figure. I mean, you could be, you know, this could blow up and we'd have to, we'd have to print it, you know. You know, do we have to do stories on everything? Is, is, is everything a story? Isn't anything off the record? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. that's, you know, that's that's our tagline, Jared. Is everything's on the record. Everything's on the record, yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, like, it, just, it doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. Uh, the boy next and door. Yeah, that was horrible when we did that on the poor child next door. We just put his business on blast, you know? Yeah, well, no, if you're going to be, um, you know, if you're going to be doing that kind of thing in public on the roof, um, you deserve to have your picture taken and, you know, have it exposed. Yeah, I should have thought that one through. And you did some great pictures, by the way, really. Did you like them? Yeah, those were fantastic. Thank you. I, mean, I learned mm -hmm. I learned a little more about something other than Garfield. That was, that was a plus. Oh, you mean in, in this interview? In my interview with, with, with her. Yeah. Okay. Well, just, Crumb. No, uh, well, I mean, you wanted to, you wanted to head off into the, you know, the whole cartoons, comic strip thing, and. Yeah, I thought it would it'd be appealing, you know. I, I, I. Oh boy, it's, I, I got myself in a pickle here, didn't I? I just, you know, it's, it's just, just be careful. Yeah. You know, you're, you're gonna write. You're gonna write about me, aren't you? You're not a. No, you're fine now. You're, you're, you're. You know, you're. You're boring. You're normal. You're not boring. Boring, but you know, you're pretty boring. You, well, yeah. I mean, I've been. That's the whole point. That's why, for me, you know, a woman deciding to take it all off and put a cat bell on and, and willing to go up on a roof with that—that's exciting. That's yeah. exciting stuff. I've been been doing work and, and, and putting other people's business in the street and, and and I need some excitement in my life. This is your foray into the, the comic world and you know if this is your first foray then you know what else is out there for you? Tag out tag out uh, Ben and Tez at the pet store. Yeah, I was, was had an appointment. Uh, Someone was coming. To, yeah, I'm sorry, Ness. Can I help you? Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, um. Shoot. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm. Um. Uh, looking for some catnip. Okay. In quantity. Uh -huh. In quantity. Oh yeah. Well, that's great. Um. The thing is, it's not. It's not legal in California anymore. What? No, it's the new pot. Yeah. Are you crazy? Oh, man. It started in Portland. Yeah, crazy town, Portland. Everything crazy going on up there. That's sick. Yeah. Jeez. Next thing you know, Menlo Park is running wild with the stuff. Hmm. And uh, yeah, so I can get you some, but 
it's going to cost you. I got both cut to someone in an alley. Hey, shh, shh, hey, shh, shh. I got that nip. I got that nip. Okay. Just don't look, don't look too inconspicuous. I mean, I'm not doing a good job of it right now myself. Okay. I got to have it. What? I got to have yeah, it. It has an effect on you. I mean, even before you get it, you start to smell it and sense it. You know, it gets into your 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 nose, your nasal cavity, and it's the, the, the aroma is. The, you know, I know. Yeah, you start purring in a minute. Yeah, here come the claws. So what you got? Come on, pass over the pass over the funds. Are you passing me the funds? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, show me the funds. There it is. Okay, good, good. Okay, like hey, wait a second, wait a second. Relax. Look normal. Look normal. As normal as you can look in a dark alley. Yeah, the whistling, probably not. <laughs> oh. Hey, just pick up that trash can. Just pick up the trash can. Yeah, there you go. Put the lid back on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. That's normal. It's like you took the garbage off. That's all. Now pass me the funds. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, guys, scratch me. Jesus, I need some back team for that. Come on, pass it over. There you go. Yeah, there's a kilo. There's a kilo of that nip. Take that nip. Hey, if you want, you want. Shit, shit. Ding. Oh, garbage. Oh, garbage. All right, hands where I can see him. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, officer. Just, just being sanitary, taking the garbage out. Uh huh. Uh, what's that bulge in your pocket right there? I'm just happy to see you. Okay, funny. Hey, all right, funny man. Up against the car. Wait, hey, it's not even my car. No, up against my car. Oh, sorry. What do you mean? Sorry. You were throwing stuff in that car. What are you throwing what? in there? No, me? Yeah. I was, uh, I was, uh, no, I, I was, uh, I was, uh, I probably shouldn't be stuttering this much. Uh, hmm. Just putting some stuff in the garbage. <clears throat> All right. Uh, hands up against my car. There you go. Is this uh, your car? No, oh, that's your car. Sorry. My car's There's a lot of cars back here. Sorry. <laughs> my car's right here. I'm so it's a black and white one. The black. Oh, that's your. Oh, that was right. That's what they call them, the black and whites. Can hey, I, can I, I go? like you. Hmm? Can okay. I go? Uh, no, you can't go, miss. It looks like you were buying something here. <laughs> yeah. What were you buying, ma'am? Um, just um. Some ingredients uh, for my pet cat. Pet, oh, your pet cat. I know what we got here. I'm going to just. What, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, let's see what you threw you, away here. Let's just see what you uh, threw away here. Uh, your, your name wouldn't be Officer Friendly by chance, would it? <laughs> uh huh. There it is. There's got to be uh, 16 ounces of catnip here. Uh, I was frozen with terror for a minute. What'd you say? Nip. Oh. All right, get in the car. You, Put that close to your nose, officer. Put it close to your nose. <laughs> Has an effect. <clears throat> That's good stuff. That's good stuff. You feel like purring uh, or clawing? <laughs> no, okay, maybe not. I've been to the academy. I'm. Uh, oh damn it! I'm semi-immune to this stuff. <sighs> get in the car. Uh, right. This car? Which car? This car right here? The black and white one. Oh, the one over here. Oh, that. This one? No, not the not the one that's newer. The light on top. Oh, this, oh, right, okay. Me, me too. Now I got a question for you, miss. A couple questions for you. Yeah. Um, you know this stuff is illegal, right? I, uh, I know now. Okay. You know, you got a nice friendly face. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I'm gonna let you walk. Thank you. See you later. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Have a good night. Oh, uh, she's leaving? All right. <clears throat> comfortable back there? Yeah, I, well, as comfortable as I can be in a, a car, but thanks for not handcuffing me, at least. Yeah, you seem nonviolent. I'm completely uh, nonviolent. That nip, I, that had, I don't know, that... That's not, it's not mine. Not mine. Yeah, when you go and slide your driver's license, you slot. 
So I, I saw you. I saw you throw it into that uh, other vehicle. Thank you. I'm just gonna run this from Boston, yeah, huh? Yeah, I packed my car and have it yet. That's the normal saying. That's the kind of go-to saying. Being from Boston, you know, it's just kind of a joke. Have you ever been to Boston? A lot of Celtic fans out there. What's that saying in English? Park your car in Harvard Yard. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, have you ever been to a South this game? Good sports town out there. A Celtic game? I don't know how they pronounce it exactly. Uh, I used to, no, I used to be a big Celtic fan. You used to be? Yeah, well, the, the trail days were in slump for a little while there. And I was kind of followed the Celtics for a little bit, you know, Larry Bird and all that. But... Um, I went back to the Blazers though. It's a good, 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 good uh, team there. It's you got a team. prior. You got a couple of priors. Um, see, you were doing you were doing weed. Um, I don't know why you didn't stick with that. When, like once it was legalized, would you do what? Yeah, I guess I got to tell you. I'm be honest with you. I, I I was doing weed, and once they legalized it, the sales went down. It was part of the part of people wanting this stuff is the is the challenge of getting it. You know, once it became too easy, I, I, I got, I, you know, I got a mouth to feed. I mean, my mouth, I don't have, it's just me, but it's still a mouth to feed, you know? Yeah. Um, and, what can uh, I do to make this better? I'm sorry. I don't know. You know, I'm on, there's not a lot of us on Nip Patrol, but uh, we're out here. I mean, I was at a Blazers game and, uh, you know, live. And uh, you know what, you know what they were doing in the, in the, uh, in the arena? What? We're selling nip right there, right there in the audience. Really? Cut to the game. Yes! Yeah! Three pointer, baby. <laughs> you. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, man. That, wow. What handles? Have you seen a crossover? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh. Hey, oh. hey, dog. You know what? You need some of this. Huh? You want some of this? Oh, what you what's that? Oh, shit, is that that nip? You got that nip? Just a little pick me up. I'm, I mean, shit, I'm already pretty up, but what the hell? <laughs> oh, you can never be too up. That's true. How, how, how much? Uh, whatever you got, man. Whatever I got? Yeah. I got a Blazers cap. I just bought this over at the uh, by the concession stand. Well, hell yeah, that's a hundred bucks. Oh, shit, why not? I'll try it. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wow, this has a Wow. Shoot Cut that. Cut forward. Cut forward. And uh, so I reported back to uh, here in Fresno. And uh, they put me on Nipitrol, you know. And, uh, so, yes. yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty hard sentence you got, you're looking at. Um, hey, look, I'm sorry I lied to you and told you it wasn't mine. I, I, I you know. No, I, I don't want to make things worse here. I feel like I've already dug a hole here. and I, You seem like a, a reasonable person. I and mean, you're willing to listen to me, take the time to talk to me. I know you're just doing your job. That's right. I'm just trying to clean up this town, you know? You realize that once they legalize NIP, and they will, it's going to be something else, you know? You know what I've been hearing? Rumors of? What's that? Milk bone dog biscuits. Ooh, yeah. My dad used to eat those when I was a kid. And I always wonder why. I always thought my dad was a little weird, but I think he was onto something, huh? Yeah, there's always going to be something new, you know? People are looking to get higher and, and forget their problems. You know, I think the judge needs to hear this. So I think you ought to. You got to take this one in and, uh, you know, I think I'm going to hold you till Monday and uh, tell your story to the judge. And uh, you know what? Maybe there's a sympathetic ear somewhere in there and, and uh, you get your story out, you know? How's that sound? Well, it doesn't sound like how much of a choice. I, I mean, what sounds better is you letting me go. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Um, I understand. I don't. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, let's take a ride. 
This, this car purrs. <laughs> yeah, so purrs. That's a bad part. I gotta, you know what, cut, cut to dealer, cut to dealer, te, Tez with a lawyer before the trial. My name is uh, Sydney Markham, and I will be representing you. And this uh, is all pro bono, right, Mr. Markham? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, it's, uh, you know, Great. the uh, court appointed uh, um, public defender. Great. So no charge at all, at Great. all. And I, I, I'm, I'm frankly appalled. I'm frankly appalled at this charge. Yes. It's absurd, you know. Well, thank you for um, doing your job. I suppose I, pre I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, first thing we have to do is establish that uh, you had no knowledge of anything at the time and you were not selling anything, right? For profit. Is that correct? Um, we, sure. I did. I want to make it very clear that I did essentially confess to the cop, essentially. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I did. I did. It was very nice, nice cop we were in the car chatting for quite a while in the alley actually um yeah, that, that, that that's what they do you know it's a tactic you tell them yeah, yeah, was that, i hoodwinked that's bad but the other thing is was i hoodwinked not exactly hoodwinked but he did he read you your miranda rights no actually actually no okay we can throw that out then that doesn't count so, okay so essentially you don't know you didn't do anything you were just walking right and all of a sudden they came up and arrested you and you don't know why it's correct right, right? sure that's the, uh sure i mean i i went with the i have mouth to feed theory but not we're not going to go with the mouth to feed thing was i i know i was walking i know nothing that's that's it nothing you're walking and all of a sudden they did this now they're going to try some bs they're going to say they found some substance catnip was it you don't know what what what's catnip that's right okay that's right. Got it. What? What? Cat Catnip? Oh, funny. Is that too much? No, oh, I'd like that. Oh, funny. Do that again. Oh, funny. Perfect. So we're going to go in there with the, what I call the know nothing uh, defense. And right. we're going to say that um, you didn't know what was going on. You don't know anything about it. Uh, if there was something there, it wasn't yours. And uh, now there's one one point here that we have to deal with apparently there was a another person there that was they claimed that you were selling this material to they haven't found that person they're not bringing that person in so really they don't have any witnesses except right. your word against the police officer yeah the cop just the cop let her go just let her, free to go i was in the car at the time but yes great okay yeah. so not too over the top i know nothing oh i what who yeah. Good. yeah, it reminds me of a case I had uh, just about a month ago. Well, yeah, about a month ago. This guy was uh, interviewing, uh, you know, people that were involved in the comic book industry. I love comic books. And apparently um, the guy <laughs> who's in the next cell is uh, arrested for murder. Wait, the, the interviewer or the interviewee? The, the interviewer. It was arrested for murder? What happened? Apparently he uh, was upset with his boss uh, or his working association at some magazine they were on and he uh, he murdered him. That, that's, I'll be handling that case too. Wow, cut to that cell, you with him. Wow, 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 wow. Gee, he wrote the story about me. He wrote the story, put my business out there. I, I, I snapped. Even though I've been doing the same thing. I, we wrote a horrible story about a child next door, poor innocent child. You know, they made fun of the kid at school. We, but he wrote the story about me, and I, it went all over like you said it would, and I snapped. Okay, well, it sounds like self-defense to me, right? <laughs> tell by the look in your eye. Yes, yes. Okay. Self-defense, uh, he, uh, he uh, what did he, he picked up one of those ink bottles or something there and he threatened you, right? That's, yes. 
<laughs> right. Listen, I need yeah. you to get a message to my, my sweetheart. Okay, I'll do that. Tell her to wear that cow, no, cat bell for me. The cat bell. Yes. yes. Tell her, okay. kiss the cat bell. Writing it down. Okay. Right. Tough defense. Yeah, self defense uh, witnesses, right? So it's essentially your word against a dead guy. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I stand a chance. Yeah, I got my odds are good. Had to testify. Nobody was there. Yes, and really no motive because you guys were the best of friends, right? Right. Okay, so self defense. So uh, uh, tell me if this is too over the top. Uh, self defense. Eh? You talking to me? Self defense, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut, yeah. To, cut, cut to, perfect. Cut to the catnip trial. Um, Your Honor, order, uh, order in the court. Order, please come to order. Um, this session of the um, Borgen County um, District Court will now come to order. Um, what was it, um, Counselor? Um, I, I just wanted to say that I'm the public defender and I'll be representing uh, um, Jared over here, who's accused of, falsely accused of- Wait, am, I, am I Jared? Am I, I don't know any, am I Jared? I'm Jared, right? Sorry, I don't know anything. Go ahead, sorry. Jared, I'm sorry. This is the catnip case, am I correct? Uh, selling the catnip? No. It's not the catnip case. This is the murder case. Oh, this is the murder oh. case. Okay, the murder oh. case. I, um, I thought they, okay. Uh, so they've reversed order. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll take this one first. Uh, okay, so um, you, murdered your, um, you murdered your working associate, your partner, business partner. Um, well, you had 49% share. Okay. Um, how do you plead? Self-defense. Okay, guilty or self not defense. Guilty. guilty or not guilty, Jared? We, we didn't, my, my client, sorry, may I, have a, may I have a moment with my lawyer? Can I ask that? Uh, sure. Hey, hey, we didn't talk about that part. You didn't tell me about that part. You just told me to say self defense. Yeah. Well, just, 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 oh, just self defense. That's all you need to say. Uh, I'll answer the other that question. Okay. <clears throat> my, uh, my client pleads uh, not guilty, sir. Your Honor. I need to hear. It. I need to hear it from the from the client. Your clients, counselor. <laughs> self, self self defense. How do you plead, Jared? I I, I, I plead. I plead self defense. Guilty or not guilty, Jared? Yeah, definitely self defense. Right, so. Um. I think what we have here is um. Uh, incapable of incapable of testifying. <laughs> Case dismissed. Oh, whoa! Let's move on to uh, catnip case number zero four two five six seven. Well, counsel, you're staying for this one, okay? Yes, I'm representing uh, this party too. Okay, and. Uh, the accused name in this case is, seems to be blank on the sheet. Um, That's my name, blank. It's- uh, No, I mean, it's literally blank. It's- Bill, Bill Blank. <laughs> Wait, it's what? Bill Blank. Oh, it's Bill, Bill Blank. Okay, Mr. Blank. Um, I'm sorry, why are we here? Uh, this is a case involving a- uh, Oh, catnip, right. So, uh, see, I've got a, uh, a witness statement. Apparently, the lady you're trying to sell it to has done a full confession and, um, I, and a sorry. And um, am, I, am I allowed to ask for a moment with my lawyer? Um, it's highly unusual, but I'll allow it. Hey, you said, that, you said that the witness was, they hadn't found the witness at all. You said that. It's it's a it's 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 bullshit. It's bullshit. They they just spring this on us. There, there's no witness. It's bullshit. Don't worry about it. Is this like another tactic, like the being nice to me in the car and and get, not read my Miranda rights? Okay, got, okay, great. 
Um, we're asking that the prosecution produce the witness, <laughs> if there is one. I've got a written uh, affidavit, and uh, so it's all in order. Counselor, if you'd like a copy. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Um, An affidavit, so. I know nothing, I know nothing. Hmm. So how do you plead, Mr. Blank? Uh, I know nothing. I, what? What's happening? I don't know. I, I, I plead, I know nothing. Counselor, counselor. Uh, pleads uh, uh, pleads uh, guilty <laughs> and counselor, throws, please himself the bench. Mercy, throws himself on the mercy of the court. Okay, counselor, bench. Counselor. Yes. Um, I won't have any more of this, okay? Or your, your, your clients are seeming incapable of standing trial. It's uh, you know, it's just just the kind of luck of the draw, I guess. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. I mean, come on. Got a half-eaten Snickers bar here. I'm starving. My wife's at home watching soaps. I try to bring on the bacon. Um, listen, Judge. Listen, Judge. In this case, this I mean, this this was this is BS. The police are just framing this guy. I'm telling you, they're just framing sure. him. Walking through the alley, is, they, you know, they, they've got to have a certain number of arrests. There's nothing there. Just this is, this is catnip. This is catnip. This is this is fresh. These are fresh. It's a fresh crime. This is it's new laws are just so hard to wiggle out of. They're just really hard to wiggle out of. Um, I mean, I mean, why can't? Why not? I just don't know what I can do for you. Um, Okay, is there is there any any wiggle room? <laughs> I got I have to set an set an example of this guy. I mean, I've got a I've got a written statement. Uh, I I um you know the only thing you can do is you can do like a some kind of expose, some kind of political expose thing. Get a little public sentiment behind it, a little pressure, and I could take that to the mayor's office. So if we had a good writer, maybe, that could interview the suspect here, and, and we get it published, we get the sentiment, wow, that could, that, that, that gets, so can we have a recess or a delay in the trial? I hereby grant two week delay for conferring with your counsel. Off you go. Out. Okay. Don't. I demand a recess. I mean, I declare a recess. I'm supposed to meet my lawyer in, in the. Uh, sorry, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm, where'd you come from? I went. I walked into the room with the judge. No, I was just using. I think he was having lunch. I was just using the restroom and. Catnip, you know what I'm saying? What you use? God, that's just great. Uh, yeah, the, the catnip. Oh, uh, hey. Um, so, um, uh, thanks for the thanks for the tip, uh, Mr. Um, was it Kumame? Kumam? Umame? Mr. Umame? Markham. Yeah. Markham, Markham. Thank you, Mr. Markham. Um, for the ten, and thanks for getting me off of that, you know, for the murder charge. Um, I, uh, boy, you, you said I played it by the book, and you, you, what well, you said worked exactly right. So I'm ready to do. Um, yeah, well, set this thing up. We're, my my client here is is you know, has a good chance of getting off if we can get the right take on this story. I'll let you guys, uh, you know, talk about it. And hopefully, you can come up with something. And uh, any charges. We'll refer to the public defender's office and we'll take care of it, okay? Great, all right, thank you. Um, all right, and so you are, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, it's okay if I turn this on, record? Sure. Um, okay. Yes, I'm Mr. Blank, right. by the way. <clears throat> um, um, Mr. Blank, Bill, yeah. Bill, did I get this right? Bill, Blank. Um, so, what happened? Congratulations on getting off my Anyway, it's a good sign. Same oh. lawyer. Oh yeah, thank you. She's he's uh, he's amazing. I guess. I mean, I've only had the one 
thing. Hey, maybe there's a murder story. rap, right? That's one big thing. Yeah, what was the thing? Yeah. I mean, what do I know? That's what uh, I've been saying. That was my whole deal. I know nothing. Yeah. Um, so listen, I'm... Uh, <clears throat> let's focus. Let's focus. Um, I, uh, and I'm thinking about my girlfriend. I got to get back to her. I've been, <laughs> they were holding me for a couple of weeks and I'm really missing, um, you know, my girlfriend, um, you know, wears nothing, oh, but, but a cat. I, I heard a little bit. I probably, he probably shouldn't have told me that, but I did hear a little bit about that. How'd you hear about that? Did well, it was also him? some stuff written. It was written. Oh, my damn, yeah. my damn associate. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's... I mean, who wouldn't have killed it was all over the news? Yeah, no, I was all over social media. Yeah. And in the, the, the rags, they, and they don't even have rags anymore, but it yeah. was all over the rags. That's how much it was out there. Well, I'm trying to keep my rag alive. I mean, we, you know, a two week hiatus and normally kill a publication like this. But I'm trying to bring it back. Your story might just do it. So uh, you're out selling some nip. Yes. I, yeah, I was out selling some nip. And um, look, I, I, by the way, I'm going to, I'm going to need a little bit of nip to kind of, you know, get me through this article. You know, if you can, anyway, side, side. I know some people. Yeah. I don't have any on me because they've confiscated it all, but <laughs> I can certainly put you in touch with some people. All right. So what's the big take? What's the big take on this? What's the, what is it? What's the, what's the story? Cost? No, no. I mean, what's the, Oh, you know, it's well, the why? latest thing. People want to get high. They want to, you know, they, they, they want to, they want to be purring, you know, why um, should it be illegal? Why should it be illegal? Why should it be illegal? Illegal. The same reason why they eventually made alcohol legal during prohibition. The same reason they made weed legal relatively recently. You know, it's like there's a profit in it. Let's be honest. They're trying to take it off the streets. They're trying to get a cut of it. You know, it's all a conspiracy. I'm just trying. I have a mouth to feed. You know what I mean? I got a mouth to feed here. I need a, your your mouth. Yeah, it's just me. It's just just me, myself, and I. Three of us. You know. Um. Yeah. Um. Bill. Um. I need something new. Something that's gonna make this story different. Like, uh, like, uh, like, what is, um, you know, what does Nip do for you? Is it, uh, is it, uh, is it, is it vegan? I guess it's vegan. Yes, it's vegan. That's a good angle. Uh, I mean, technically, it's 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 gluten free. Gluten free. It's dairy free. Dairy free. Yes, but it's not free. You got to pay me for it. Sure. No, I mean, every good thing should, you know, be paid for. Yeah. Um, so listen, I need to get with my girlfriend now. Um, just I can't get this cat bill out of my mind. Um, and you, uh, how do you look naked? I mean, just, I mean, that'd be a good photo. You know what I mean? Like if maybe, um, maybe, uh, uh, maybe a, uh, a ball of yarn, something. Um, I'm willing to do whatever if it's going to get me off. That sounded, I didn't mean it in that way. Okay, yeah. That could be a double entendre, but I, I didn't mean it in that way. Okay. No judgment at all, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just quote you on that. I think that'll be the headline. Um willing to do anything for to get me off. That was yeah. Um and I think that'll I think that'll spring you. I think that'll get people behind you. I like the animal angle. People are into animals and and the latest fitness dietary crazes. So maybe the ball of yarn is a good thing. People are, you know, they want to save the whales and save the animals. So Okay, yeah, I people think we, love cats. I think we got this. Uh, my girlfriend is um, waiting for me. Um, we're gonna you take my clothes off now. We're doing a scratching clothes. No, I'll get that later. Oh, okay. Uh, we're just doing a scratching clothes right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> scratching post. Did you say scratching post? Scratching post. All right, we are the goose. <laughs> Woo oh my god, I didn't realize the time. Stephanie and Ted. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>